first of all, I was um, very concerned about only three because we all know the impact of meeting um, AJ and Mary and listening to AJ for all of these years has had on our lives. Um, so to choose just three, uh, so I had to go right back to the beginning and think, okay, well, what things really triggered the changes in me most? And the first one that came up was um, uh, God loves his children equally. When, um, you know, Yeshua first talked about that, I, I felt that can't be right. Obviously, you were the special one, the chosen one, you know, so how can, how can you be equal to me? And then through the talk and him explaining about, <clears throat> about how God views all of his children equally and impartially, and I, I then understood it and I felt, okay, that means he actually does love me as much as you. And the only difference between you and me, or me and somebody else, and me and another person is that you've just progressed to God more than what we have. So you have more of God's love in your heart. So that doesn't mean that God loves me less than you. So for me, that was huge. That was, okay, there's hope for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not lost. And that also means nobody's lost. We all have a huge um, opportunity to grab on the truths and to invite God's love into our heart and to grow just as Yeshua has grown and demonstrated to us. So going back to the, you said you had to really go back and think about it. And when you first heard this, that, um, that Yeshua said, uh, said this and you realized that, oh, well, he, he, of course he lo God loves you more. Have you experienced the difference between then and now with praying for God's love for you, yes. so you closer to, to God yes. in God's love. From that time, and it was about I think I heard that in 2009. From then to now, I have experienced and grown closer to God and developed a relationship with God more so in the last 12 months. And in that, I've felt it and experienced it more. So I, by experiencing it, I then could. Um, um, feel the truth more about it. Before it was said, it was intellectual and yeah, but no, it can't be. But then once I started growing in love myself and feeling it myself, okay, this is the difference. The only thing that is stopping me, you know, to be closer to God is myself, not God. And that then opens up everything for you because if you then want to make the effort and have the desire, then you can grow closer to God yourself. Just you and God, nobody else. Yeah. You don't need anything else. Yeah. Then that's a beautiful truth. Yes. A beautiful truth. You don't need anything. You don't need technology. You don't need other people. Okay, I need it, or, and most of us need to, to have some of the truths mm. come to us so we can um, take them on board. But once you, once you get to that stage and you've got some of the truths and you've got some knowledge and you've got them intellectually, then you've got to go beyond that and start feeling it and, and developing a relationship with God and it only takes you. And, and the experience for me as well is, is almost where the intellect and the emotion come together. It's like, oh, now I understand. Now I feel now it was for I me. Now I feel it yes. and I understand yes. it. Yes, yes, mm. yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's a, a light bulb moment, isn't mm. it? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, and it's a great feeling. Mm. And, and that then brought great joy to my heart. It brought great joy to my soul mm. to know that it's, it, nothing is stopping me other than myself. Mm. So as my um, progression is all up to me, mm. God's not mm. withholding anything from me, mm. you know? It was me withholding from God. Mm. Thank you, that's great.